Karen Yang. And she has a beautiful piece of music, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to it first. Nocturne number one in D major. Karen, she goes to Plano West Senior High School. And, um, you know, I was looking at everybody in here as we were listening to this. And some people would just look very pe at peace. Uh, I saw a couple people look kind of teary eyed. Um, some of you looked like in deep thought. Is that what you wanted from people? You know, because one of the things that you described your music is that you started it very peaceful, then it got more intense little bit, you, you said you added more layers, more intense, and then you went back to that tranquil um, ability at the end. And as I said, I was watching different people. What were you feeling, I guess, as you were composing and this, putting this together? I remember I composed this after a really stressful day of high school, and I came home, and music has always been incredibly comforting to me, so I just sat down on my old piano, and I just wanted to comfort myself and I just played for a while and this is what came out. So as, as people have said before me, I just hope that whenever people listen to it, they can connect to some really special experience or emotion of themselves and look at it through that lens. So you were feeling stressed, but you came out with this peaceful, because one of the things definitely as I was listening to is a lot of you looked like you were at peace, like <laughs> I feel that, you know, after a, a long day, I'm calming down. Um, who has been your inspiration when it comes um, to music? Who has been your inspiration? Um, composers. Composers or even your family or other people? I mean, who has inspired you? Uh, I listen to a lot of classical music and I have so many favorites, it'd be hard to choose from, but I'd say Tchaikovsky and Barber, those are my two favorite composers. Um, my professor tells me sometimes that a great piece of music is one that after you listen to it, you feel like a changed person. And those two composers, it's, it's just so incredible what they're able to accomplish with their music. 
Tchaikovsky, for instance, when he writes his orchestration, it's almost like a painting in that there's, there's, a, there's a technique he uses called storm and stress mm -hmm. where the outer, uh, outer voices, the, the high violins and the bass part will be these, this really, really placid and calm, you know, but inside there will be this agitated tremolo from the other instruments. And he's just trying to convey the emotion of being agitated while on the outside being calm. And so that's part of your inspiration for a piece like this. Let me ask you this. When, uh, what I love is, as young as you are, and you love these composers, is it something that you hope your generation will also embrace more? I mean, I know we all love modern music, we love hip-hop, we love pop, and then there's those Taylor Swifters out there, but this is a whole different, you know, a whole different vibe. Mm -hmm. Is that something you want young people, you know, your age, to really embrace? For sure. That's something I've always struggled with, is enjoying this music that not a lot of people my age seem to like. I just, I so wish they could experience what I could hear. Things like Tchaikovsky and Beethoven, they can take you from the highest of highs, the joy you feel, it's just so intense. And then the weeping strings of Tchaikovsky, the tragedy you can feel. I mean, that's just, it's incredible. And when I'm hearing pop music that's just the same tired beat and auto-tune over and over again. <laughs> auto-tune. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it just, it lacks so much of that humanity that sometimes I feel like maybe we've gone back in time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm inspired that, that you're holding on to this because I think that it is definitely, you don't want to lose this, this beautiful music. Was there a moment when you were writing this that you thought, okay, this is definitely my this is really in my heart. I'm, I'm feeling this aha moment. This is going to be fantastic. When did that happen? I'd say with this piece, um, my entire life com composition has been sort of a struggle of sorts. In that, when I was younger, I'd, I'd hear these just really, really beautiful melodies in my head, but it would make me so frustrated. I would hear these like concertos and symphonies, but no one could hear them, and it made me cry because. I just, I couldn't get it out on paper. It's, it's so much harder to get it out on paper. And for this, this piece was kind of a turning point for me in sorts that finally what I heard in my head was tr like beginning to come together with what I could express to other people. Mm -hmm. I'm in awe because I, can, I can't play an instrument and I can't read notes either. So let me tell you that honesty right there. Um, I guess, you know, since you have all these all this music in your head, and I, I'm hoping that you, you, you're going to follow this in college. Is, is this something you're going to pursue in college? Am I going to see you in some big concert someday in the future? <laughs> Somewhere, somehow, I'll buy a ticket. Tell me about that. Is, that, is this something you're going to study in college? I'm planning on double majoring as well. <laughs> Another double major. Um, I want to study classical composition and business on the side. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not sure my future as a classical composer as much as a film composer because there's just such a small market for classical music mm -hmm. nowadays. What do you mean a film composer? Someone that will write music for films? Mm -hmm. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, they win a lot of Academy Awards too. <laughs> right? I meant you in my Oscar Yes, please do. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I guess, what, what advice do you have to, you know, I mean, this, it's been a while since I've listened to this kind of music, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice do you have for everybody here when it concerns this kind of music and embracing it? Because today they'll leave and some of us will turn on our own music in the radio. <laughs> will we put this on? Probably not, but why, what inspiration do you give them to embrace it? And, you know, when you turn on the radio, play it. First of all, WRR 101.1, that's what you should listen to. <laughs> a big plug, okay. <laughs> but um, I'd encourage you just to take more time with this music because it's not instant gratification. That's what it is. There's a lot of layers of meaning, and I, I hope that people won't just see the word classical music and think, oh, boring. This is what I listen to for relaxation because there's such a huge range of emotion that it, this, this this music is able to accomplish that I think a lot of pop music nowadays can't. All right, you heard it from her. Turn it on that radio station. Thank you so much.